Hello good people! We have a very short, simple, easy, yet exciting tutorial for you guys today. And in today's tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to create ringtones uh, from any song in your iTunes library. A number of you have requested um, I do tutorial on this, although I've been holding off because I don't have an iPhone to actually show you guys that it works, but I'm just going to trust that you guys will take my word and that it will work. So that's what I'm going to show you guys how to do today, how to create ringtones from any song in your iTunes library, and all you have to do is use iTunes to do it. Uh, so you want to go into your iTunes, into your iTunes library. You're going to want to, you know, find a song. So I'm just going to select a random song. Uh, you want to go to that song. You're going to right-click, Get Info. You're going to go to Options. You're going to check off Stop Time. And then you're going to type in a stop time. Um, I'm going to choose 15 seconds. This needs to be 30 seconds or less, otherwise iTunes will not recognize it as a ringtone. So once you do that, you're going to press OK. Then you're going to right-click on that and create AAC version. It's going to do that. Then you're going to drag it to your desktop. Then you're going to click Command-I and get info on that. And then you're going to want to change the ending from M4A to M4R, and iTunes will recognize this as a ringtone file. So you're going to exit out of that, then you're going to drag this into your library, and if we go under ringtones, you'll see that the I Love College by, the, by Asher Roth is there under my ringtone, so now I could just sync up my iPhone if I had one, and then I would have this listed um, as a ringtone. Uh, one thing you want to remember, well, or a couple things you want to remember, you want to remember to go back to your iTunes library, you want to delete that AAC version, and you want to make sure you go back to your options of the original file and uncheck stop time. And once you do that, you are all set. Um, I do realize that this is a very short tutorial, the reason for that being is that I have school tomorrow. Um, so this weekend I was getting ready for school, and then once I find out what my schedule is and all that stuff, then I will be able to find the best time to make uh, more full-length tutorials. Um, so that is today's tutorial. I do apologize again for it being short. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, make sure to stalk me on Twitter, at Fisher12. Shorten your URLs at me and get your wallpapers at macosxtutorials.com. My name is Matt Fisher. I'll see you guys next weekend, and stay frosty.